Farm waste is one of the outcomes every time farmers set out to clear their gardens in preparation of cultivation and planting. However, because there is no other known use for it, the waste is either burned or buried and even thrown away. But one woman in Kampala, Mrs. Barrio, has found a profitable use for what could otherwise have been trashed as waste. Mrs. Barrio has discovered that the straws and stalks from harvesting sorghum, rice, wheat and millet are useful ingredients for the manufacture of paper. The straws and stalks are cut into proportion. Banana stems as well have been found to be a good raw material even if they are composed of 92% water, 3% resins and 2% glucose. In this case, the stems are split open and the inorganic fiber separated, leaving behind about 5% of usable fiber, which is the ingredient needed to manufacture the paper. When this fiber is extracted, it now becomes multipurpose fiber. Can make clothes, can make ropes, can make paper and other products. And on top of that, the extracted fiber makes better product than the unextracted fiber. In this case, Mrs. Barijo is working with banana fiber, which she has to boil for about three hours at medium temperatures. Timing is vital in order to get rid of all the impurities in the fiber. Mm, friends, sometimes maybe it had dirt, or maybe the fertilizers, uh, the, the, what, the, uh, the fertilizers that were used when the, uh, maybe the rice was being grown. After it has been boiled, the fiber is transferred to a beating machine which uses power to shake the material into a pulp. The pulp is run around and shaken in order to loosen it up and break down the components into a loose liquid. We channel the pulp into an open container so that it can enhance quick scooping. Scooping that is when we are now putting the, the pulp on the casting in it to be taken outside in the sun. However, before the final product is made, the pulp is lined using a nylon cloth to soften it and smoothen the surfacing of the final product. Now we do the paper placing. That's when we are determining its grammage and also to, to also ease quick drying of the paper. So after the paper placing, now we take on the sunshine for the paper to dry. Rice, sugarcane and bananas are the most favored raw materials in this particular case because they contain a large percentage of cellulose which acts as a bonding agent in the process. So those banana fibers or sisal, when they are extracted, the lignin content is normally in the outer part, so it is much. Now, when we extract the inner fiber or the inner material, now the lignin content there is less. The fibers used in paper making should ideally not have lignin content. This is a substance in plant fibers that prevents fine linings from being made if left not removed from inside the fibers. The paper product from this process is ideal for artists to make art pieces or it can be used for making gift bags. Although cheap and easy to make, the main drawback of making paper out of banana fiber is the unwillingness of farmers to give up their banana stems despite the lure of money. You are wasting your fruits and you're eating the banana fruit. Now the, the stems, you're just disposing them off. So now we say, if you utilize the, the fruit, you get your money. Get your stem, remove the fibers, get money from the fibers. The other waste, it's a processed, processed manure. You're not losing anything. The other is that straws from rice, sorghum, wheat are seasonal and not available all the time, unlike banana fiber. However, organic paper is eco-friendly. Its organic composition makes it degrade and decompose faster, thus being of no harm to the environment. In fact, 
Organic paper is much more friendlier to the environment than when agro waste is left to pile up in gardens. When overused in mulching, agro waste can end up degrading the fertility of the gardens in time. Craig Kadoda, NTV, Ecotalk. Thank <laughs> you.